Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of spiritual talk show. Broadcast on FM radio, internet websites, and print publications. I am well known for that celebrity interview. Interviews that we conduct in studio, by telephone, and by satellite with today's most fascinating people. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you on ValderBeebeShow.com. Today, I want my audience to know I'm, I have an opportunity to speak to Linya Floyd, who is the health director of Family Circle Magazine, and Dr. Canelli. They're here to have a brief discussion about the millions of women who are living with a condition they may not be comfortable discussing with their doctors. Welcome, guys. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we've been having this discussion online on Facebook, and we're going to pick up here. And if I could start with you, uh, uh, Dr. Canelli, if you'll give us the medical foundation, and then I'll talk to Linya. Right. Well, overactive bladder is a medical condition that, as you know, affects about 33 million Americans. And really, it's a condition where the bladder suddenly will spasm without your desire or knowledge, giving you that sensation of urgency, that feeling of you've got to go. But the troubling is that you may have to go too often that frequency of going to the restroom. And then most troubling, and it's often very embarrassing, is really that urine may leak out on the way. And usually that's the call to action, that something needs to happen. Linya, as a magazine editor, I know you cover the health aspect for the magazine. What are you seeing from that perspective? Well, one of the really big things that we want to drive home is the education piece of this puzzle. Because there may be women who have this condition who don't even realize it, or who are just working to mask the symptoms and who are settling with them. So we want to empower women to put their health first, to put themselves first, because we can often put so many other things and responsibilities and people ahead of ourselves, and to talk to their doctor about this condition. Make an appointment with your MD, with a specialist, tell them what your symptoms are, get an accurate diagnosis, and then get treatment so that you can get your life back. Doctor, let me ask you, I see more and more commercial for products that support this particular type of condition. Have we gotten comfortable or are we getting comfortable where we can now talk to our doctors? Well, I think that is improving over time. The comfortableness is there, but really the key is there are more than just the medication therapies because sometimes the medicine aren't as effective or they may have unwanted side effects. So there are really overactive bladder specialists who have new treatments, such as use of botulinum toxin or Botox for the bladder, that really change the lives of women and can last for usually upwards to six months, relieving their symptoms. Linya, because you are a large circulated circulated magazine, and I think you guys have been around since like the 1900s uh, <laughs> uh, sometimes. You guys have been around a long time. We have. Uh, okay. Will there be something in your magazine that, that speaks to this, or will there be ads that will talk about this? Um, we cover all sorts of topics when it comes to health and family circle, particularly topics that can be embarrassing for women to start conversations about. So we have certainly talked about overactive bladder in the past and, and will in the future. Um, but I can't speak to, you know, what ads may be, you know, in the magazine because I focus on the editorial. Thank you. Let me ask you, Dr. Canelli, my final question is how any advice for people with this condition, how they can feel comfortable bringing this up to their doctors? Well, I think some of it is actually starting the conversation. And there is a website, Botox for OEB, that actually lists some talking points for patients that kind of tells them how they can address it because communication is key. In addition, there are OEB specialists that have advanced techniques and they can find that based on the zip code within their area. And I think that's a great start for knowledge about overactive bladder and some of the new therapies such as Botox for OAB. 
Thank you so very much. As I wrap up, Lenya, do you have any uh, uh, tips, suggestions for Family Circle Health Director? Absolutely. One thing that I did want to drive home about the Botox for OAB website is that there, you can download a journal so you can keep track of your symptoms. And that's another conversation starter for your doctor, but it also helps make you aware yourself of what's going on with your own health. So definitely, please put your health first. Um, make that phone call. Make that appointment. Talk to a specialist and get control of your life again. I want to thank you so very much, Lenya Ford and Dr. Canelli. I really thank you for talking about a subject that a little bit uncomfortable, but I think it's going to go mainstream after you guys finish your tour. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.